Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Towny. So first let's go over to the file manager and click on plugins. Here you'll see I already have essentials installed. Uh, you don't need it, but it is highly recommended to have it. So once we get to this folder, we'll go to the Towny download page. Uh, you can find the URL here. We'll click on Towny release downloads. And we'll download the latest version. So click on that. Scroll down. And you'll find download. We'll go back to the plugins folder. Click on upload file. Click on choose files. And you'll want to upload the file you just downloaded. So let's open that and upload from computer. As soon as that's uploaded, you'll want to click on the zip file you just uploaded and unzip it. As you can see here, it is unzipped with all the jar files needed. You can go ahead and delete this, the zip file now if you'd like. I will. We'll also need one more plugin before we continue. So let's go to plugins, search vault if you don't already have this installed, and make sure to install the version needed for this. Once that is installed, let's go back to my server and restart. As soon as the server's been restarted, let's open up Minecraft and go to the server that we've just restarted. Okay, as an example, let's grab a block, place it here, and we will use the towny command. Here you can see all of the commands to learn more about towny. So right now we're going to do town question mark, and here we can see the uh, slash town commands. So we're going to use slash town new, and let's call it Seattle. It'll take a bit. So we've just created a new town, and it costed me $250 because I started off with $100,000. When you claim land for the town, or create a new town, it'll claim the chunk that you're in, which is 16 by 16. And when you go back in, you'll see that you, you'll see that it is called Seattle, and if you leave, it is wilderness. So players that do not own or are not part of the Seattle or the uh, town, they will not be able to build or break any blocks in it. Now let's say we want to claim the next chunk of land here, wilderness. We'll use slash town claim. And it shows here that the town cannot afford to claim this. So we'll have to do slash town deposit and it needs $25 so we'll do $25. Now if we do town, the name of the town, you'll see that the town currently has $25 in its bank. So now let's try town, claim. We can now claim this land. And as you see, this chunk of land was also claimed, so now it is two. You can also spawn back in the town spawn area by using slash town spawn. And you'll go back to where the town was started from. Now when you are part of a town, you can actually type in the chat. And it will come up with your town name as well as your rank in the town. Now if you are the owner of a town, you can use slash town add and then add the resident's name. So let's just say Sai Tsune. As you can see, I'm already part of this town, so it's fine. You can also kick town members by using town kick and then their name. However, you cannot kick yourself, the mayor, or an assistant. Now as for the bank, the town bank, you can use slash town deposit, and let's just say $1,000. Search town, you'll see the bank has $1,000. And if you'd like to withdraw some of that, you can do town, withdraw, and let's say $250. Now 
and the town now has $750. Now you can also turn off explosions, fire, and mob, and whatnot in your town, and you can do those by using the slash town toggle explosion. And now explosions are enabled. Let's see that again to disable them. Now if we use toggle fire, fire is now enabled and we will disable that again. And let's go with mobs. Mobs are now enabled and we'll disable that again just to be sure. You can also do public. public status of the town is now disabled. Turning this off will turn off the public town spawning of uh, other players. And you can also turn off town toggle PvP. So PvP is no longer enabled within the town. And you can also do town toggle open. Now people can join your town without being invited, uh, which this could be a bad thing uh, if you're worried about people trying to join and griefing. So normally you'll want to keep that off. Now obviously we can't go over absolutely every part of this plugin through this tutorial video, otherwise it would be way too long. So I will give you a URL here to go over the master list of every command that you can use in Townie. Alright, so that's the basics of installing and setting up Townie. I hope you guys enjoyed!